Jerusalem, an ancient city of vast cultures and religions. Beyond the rich history and monuments of the past, the city holds a modern treasure of scientific discovery, the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. The Institute for Medical Research Israel Canada, IMRIC, has been attracting the best and brightest scientists from all over the world to collaborate under one roof. Here, world-renowned researchers are making history with innovation. Scientists are working together to combat cancer, heart disease, AIDS, Alzheimer's disease, and diabetes. Blind people are being taught to see through sound. Spinal cord injury victims are learning how to walk again. And new methods are being discovered to prevent and even cure cancer. The strength of this institute is uh, the fact that it incorporates different disciplines into addressing a particular medical question. IMRIC is part of the Hebrew University Hadassah Medical School. IMRIC promotes an interdisciplinary approach to medical research and provides state-of-the-art equipment and facilities to its pioneering researchers. There's no question that IMRIC will now provide the type of organization that will really allow us to put together different disciplines and jump forward in our understanding of medical biology. I was trained as a chemist. I chose to work with bacteria. For me, it's so important to have so many microbiologists around me, molecular biologists, cellular biologists, and immunologists. One of the strengths of the IMRI is their very best students. And putting together the students together in one department where they could talk, argue, on good things, on bad things, science will become better. The end result is synergism. It's not just additive, it's synergistic. This collaboration is further strengthened by IMRIC's partnerships with international institutions to advance and accelerate their research. Cancer research is just one example. I think most people, when they think of cancer, they think of last-ditch efforts to save somebody. The ideal would be to be able to prevent a disease. So we would like to find out how genes are turned on and how genes are turned off. And this is relevant both to normal development as well as to cancer cells. One of our students from our department uh, has made his home in Canada and is now at McGill University. We're talking about an international consortium uh, for mapping the human epigenome but the true pioneers in this field were these small two labs in the Hebrew University 30 years ago. What I'm doing now is applying it to understanding uh, human disease and the relationship with environment and human disease. Collaborative research today is the key to medical research like that of HIV and AIDS. Well, we've identified a group of women in Nairobi who uh, make their living as prostitutes and uh, they're frequently exposed to HIV through sex. Uh, we think that they're uh, immune to HIV and we're working very hard to try to understand uh, what it is exactly that's protecting them. And we think that will uh, help, uh, help to teach us how to make an HIV vaccine. I'm looking forward for the collaboration with Dr. Plummer. We are just starting. Uh, we are going to exchange students, Canadian students will come here, I'll send my students over to Canada and to Africa, uh, hopefully, and I think that we'll, uh, together, our joint effort will lead to something uh, significant. So having uh, a close relationship with a world-class institution like the Hebrew University of Jerusalem is very important for us. Innovation is touching lives. Hebrew University's international collaborations are making research a reality. Through the groundbreaking research that Hebrew University's Professor Aaron Leftoff has conducted at IMRIC, spinal cord injury patients are able to walk again, using muscle and nerve functions outside the brain. The general idea is that the spinal cord can function even in the absence of the control of the brain. So. Uh, Actually, uh, if you look at it, we teach the spinal cord to walk. Also at the Faculty of Medicine, Dr. Amir Ahmedi's research teaches blind people to see images through sound. It's a way to create artificial vision. So uh, the only thing that the, the blind individual needs to do is to learn to uh, extract these uh, shapes 
out of the sounds. It makes me very happy because I have a little uh, child, three years old, and I, my vision is that one day I will help him to know to write. Together, Hebrew University scientists are poised to dramatically increase the pace of medical discovery, leading the revolution in scientific innovation. Innovation that is touching lives.